All right, for my next Facebook recommend review, I'm doing the Lost Boys. Now I get to show you the drawing from Scott Stryker that's my favorite. Check that out. Got a Lost Boys action figure there. Got a Lost Boys action figure there. But yeah, that's my favorite Scott Stryker drawing I've gotten so far. I will link his store in the description. Should definitely check him out, buy some things. So, The Lost Boys came out in 1987, directed by Joel Schumacher, who is the guy that destroyed the Batman franchise for a long time. But, The Lost Boys, what a classic. I've liked this movie since I was a kid. It's been in my top five forever. It's one of a couple movies my parents got sick of when I was a kid. It was that and E.T. For some reason, I watched those back to back to back. But anyway, The Lost Boys is about this family, a mother and two sons, played by Diane Weiss, Corey Haim, and Jason Patrick. And they moved to Santa Carla because... The mom's getting a divorce, and when they get to Santa Carla, it turns out crawling with vampires. Now, this was the first movie to feature the two Corys, Corey Haim and Corey Feldman, and I'd say the best one to feature them. The only one that even comes close is License to Drive, but this one's by far the best. Um, so, Jason Patrick ends up getting with the wrong crowd runs into David, played by Kiefer Sutherland, who to this day is just the coolest looking vampire ever on film. Not not only that, it's the best looking vampires ever. They've got double fangs. I've never seen that before. And I don't think I've seen it since. If so, not done that well. They just, they're just cool looking. So, best vampires ever. Kiefer Sutherland plays the coolest vampire ever. So, Michael ends up running with them. Corey Haim ends up running into the Frog Brothers, who are vampire hunters. But it's pretty clear throughout the film they've never actually fought vampires. They just must have a suspicion there is vampires around. Because when it's time for them to fight, they're probably the least effective against them. Um, so... Michael drinks David's blood, and when you do that, it makes you a half-vampire, and until you kill someone, you don't become a full vampire, so if you kill the head vampire, all the half-ones turn back into humans. So Michael and Star and the little kid that Star has, they're all half-vampires. So uh, Michael and his brother decide... They're going to take out all the vampires and make Michael human again and star human because Michael loves stars and all that. And, of course, at the end there's this giant showdown where something happens and you think, that was obviously the head vampire, but then no, you find out who really was the head vampire. And I'm not going to spoil who it is, just in case you haven't seen it. But if you haven't seen it, you definitely need to give it a watch. This movie just rocks the soundtrack. Every song in it, great. Even the weird dude playing the saxophone, it's a cool song. Just great characters all around. Even Grandpa, the goofy Grandpa they go live with, and his taxidermy, awesome. There's a funny scene of Corey Haim singing in the bathtub, and, and then a really... Kind of tense scene happens afterwards between him and his brother. Just so good. Utterly quotable. Not only that, there's a cover of a Doors song in the movie, People Are Strange. And this movie inadvertently got me into the Doors. I was working at Walmart. Some guy walked out. He had the lyrics to People Are Strange on his shirt. And I was like, hey, that's a song from The Lost Boys. And he was like, I don't know. I just like The Doors. So after that, I looked up The Doors. And then I was just listening to nothing but the doors for like a year straight so yeah there's just a lot to take from this movie 
Um, definitely, I'd say five star movie. My favorite vampire movie of all time. Might even call it my favorite horror comedy of all time. Even though, well, yeah, I'd say the comedy and the horror about equal. But, oh, it's even got Alex Winter in there from Bill and Ted. He's just kind of an Easter egg, I guess. The boom, there he is. Don't really say or do much, but he has a little part in a pivotal scene. So, that's pretty cool. Um, Jamie Gertz plays Star. Um, might know her from Crossroads, not the Britney Spears one, the good one about, you know, Ralph Macchio trying to be a blues player. And she was also in Twister as the woman that Bill Paxton was going to marry, but then he decides to stay with Helen Hunt or whatever. So, yeah, just all-star cast, really. And great movie, five stars. Don't bother with any of the sequels. They're straight-to-video garbage. But definitely give this one a watch. I mean, just, just great. So, anyway, thank you for checking out my review. Please like and subscribe, comment. You can comment movies you'd like me to review in the future. And don't forget to check out Scott Straka Art on Facebook or Store Envy, Scott Straka, S-C-O-T-T-S-T-R-A-K-A. He did that awesome David drawing from the Lost Boys. He's already done like 16 drawings just for Inktober, he calls it. It's all horror for the month of October. Go there, pick them up there. I mean... You'll be shocked at how affordable his drawings are. I mean, you can get as many as you want and won't break the bank. Always delivers either on time or before. Just a great, great business he's running. So check him out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.